Good evening, everybody. This is Miss Jill Louise Starr, and today I'm going to slightly deviate. Um, I will give an Al Qaeda reading from the book Dark Art Tricks and Eviction and myself wrote and edited together in 1999. But first, I'd like to uh, give some documentary evidence as to my discrimination federal discrimination case against the New School for Social Research in New York City, and each night I'll be giving more of that because Hillary Clinton and the Department of U.S. Education, the federal arm of civil rights, uh, told me my case was, quote, groundless, and I'm going to prove it to everybody in the world that it certainly is not, quote, groundless, unquote, period. So let me begin. This was a letter I wrote to Dean McIntyre, who was the Dean of the Political Science Department at the time when I studied at the New School for two years. It was one of the most expensive, is the most expensive school, university, uh, Ivy League in the country because it cost $3,000 a credit. Even at Columbia University in New York, you can pay one price and take as many classes as you want. No, 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 at the New School. Each class is three credits, and it's $3,000 a credit. So for myself to go full time, that would mean I would have to take three classes, nine credits, $9,000, not including transportation and off-site living expenses. To get right to it, to it this was a letter I wrote, Ms. Louis Starr, myself, to graduate faculty Dean Daniel McIntyre. This was written in 1999, and the case number for the U.S. Department of Civil Rights handling it was case number 02-00-2081, and case number 0299-2132. This letter dated to Dean McIntyre, who was the Dean of the Political Science Department at the time they illegally discriminated against me and told Arnold Stark, who is my witness, that since they considered themselves a private institution, uh, they can throw me out any, on any grounds they want. But that's not necessarily the fact and the law in America, because um, any school that takes Title IV monies, which is student aid that comes out of your tax dollars, means that it is not a private institution. They cannot throw it one out if it wants to. And especially, I have two disabilities. My doctor wrote nearly 10 letters stating I was not dangerous, that I should be let to finish my last class. I had already ordered my cap and gown, and what they did to me, tossing me out after I've worked so hard, taking out student loans, studied, 11 years in graduate school was an egregious violation of my human, civil, political, and social economic human rights. So I wrote, Dear Daniel McIntyre, nowhere in any new school correspondences or school handbook has the new school for social research offered to accommodate either my two permanent disabilities, emotional and physical, in reference to completing my class entitled Political Development with Adam, Adam Tia Paulus, the Greek professor. I demand at very least a one-year extension as my doctors ask to accommodate my di two disabilities to complete the required class and to submit my paper in order to resolve the incomplete I received for the political development class. In addition, I further demand that the new school for social research accommodate every single one of, of the recommended disability accommodations that my doctor has previously demanded that the new school for social research gave me, I forwarded you, and you told me to go to hell. You did not let me complete my class and did not give me the money back. I did not even get a grade. Now I pay $25,000 a year interest. I only exist on a meager income of 800 and something dollars at this time. And if I were to go to work, the U.S. government 
wants me to pay back $8,500 a month. I could not get a job entry level for that price. In addition, I further demand that the new school for social research not only accommodate every single one of the recommended disability accommodations that my doctor has previously demanded the new school give to me, that I may complete my classes and graduate, anything less is totally unacceptable to me. Furthermore, your attorney should contact the Office for Civil Rights District 2 in conjunction with the United States Department of Education, who are acting as my attorneys in resolving my two new school disability discrimination cases, as aforementioned, against the New School for Social Research. They will ask the new school to come to an amicable agreement as to who will be grading my paper and when it, when it is to be complete, when my doctor's accommodations are given to me by you. Since Professor Adamantia Paulus has proven to be too biased to do so herself. In addition to the aforementioned one year extension, as asked by my doctor to accommodate my disabilities and the Federal Dis Americans with Disability Act, and as many medical accommodations and time as my doctors deem it necessary for me to complete this class. Political development due to the new school committee vile and egregious long ongoing disability and human rights discrimination against me and also impeding my moving forward in my life for over one year and counting since it's been over 13 years counting until this day. They've held me back from accumulating my goal in life. And also for the untallable amounts of slander, liable, and irreversible emotional abuse of torture that the New School for Social Research administrators and professors have put me unnecessarily through, I demand a monetary settlement of not less than $1 million, and that's generous in today's day and age. The school refused, and I've even been to the Ombudsman. Let me remind you, Mr. McIntyre, that even the United States Charter 1948 states that all human life has dignity, unquote, and human worth, unquote. The New School for Social Research and its affiliated administrative discriminators have for over one year to date regarded my own human life as having no human worth whatsoever. Therefore, I demand the aforementioned monetary settlement without which without which this case is not reconciled. Respectfully yours, Ms. Jill Louise Starr, CC, Office for Civil Rights in conjunction with the U.S. Department of Education, District 2, New York. And now I'll continue with the al Qaeda book. Thank you for joining me and learning. And I hope that no, not, no other child will ever have to go through this. And this is why I'm being so strict with this case. Thank you.